If you learn anything from me about America, learn this. Americans are assholes. I just got in after a very long day. It's one o'clock in the morning, okay? My life flashed before my eyes. I thought I was going to die because some asshole was at a stop sign. It was his turn to go, so I was letting him go. He turns his bright lights on, so I'm blinded. I can't see. He starts coming at me, okay? I think he's gonna ram into me because it feels like it. And I just froze. I couldn't do anything. I was scared out of my mind. And at the last second, he turns. Americans are assholes. What did we learn today? Americans are assholes. Okay. Not all Americans are assholes, but most of them are. So on Saturday, I went to this comedy show, and my dad is always taking me to these comedy shows with different comedians. I don't remember who we saw last time, but on Saturday, I saw this guy named um, Gabriel Iglesias, and I don't think he's that funny. And he's obviously like a cool guy, and like, I don't think he's dumb or whatever, but he's just not my brand of comedy. And I'm not an expert in the field of comedy or anything, but I'm kind of picky when it comes to the comedians that I like, and I really only like one comedian. And that comedian is Daniel Tosh, because he is amazing. He is one funny guy. I am so in love with Daniel Tosh that it's, it's kind of weird. I think I know probably every word to every one of his jokes. I love him. I think he's hilarious. And maybe that's my brand of comedy. Like, he's a pretty big asshole. Maybe that's what I like. Probably, I guess, because he is funny. And I can listen to him over and over and over and over and over again, and I still laugh. Every time, I still laugh. So we went and saw Gabriel Iglesias, and I'll admit, I laughed a few times, okay? Some of the things he said was pretty funny. And the things he can do with his voice or whatever is really good. And he's skilled. He's just not my brand of comedy. I don't know. <sighs> also on Saturday was our very last open mic at Eclectic Books. Eclectic Books is the bookstore that my mom owns. And it's going out of business. Because that's how it works in America. You can't win unless you're McDonald's, or Coca-Cola, or Barnes & Noble, or Hollister. Independently owned businesses just don't work here. Another reason why America can suck. But anyways, the store's going out of business, so we had one last open mic, which, uh, open mic is when a whole bunch of people come and they just have like 10 minutes to play music, and it's super fun and it's super cool. And normally it's like the same people every week. And they've come to be like our friends, you know, and we've gotten to know them pretty well. And so it's kind of emotional and I made like a goodbye video for everyone that my mom asked me to do, which is on my other channel and I have to unprivate it, but I will. And lots of crazy things happened. There was crowd surfing. There's some crowd surfing in the bookstore. Um, there was lots of dancing. Lots of jumping, lots of screaming. It was very fun. <laughs> and while I'm sad that the bookstore is going out of business, because I really, really like the store, it's a really great place, um, this is just the next step and we'll be fine. Okay, another thing I've been super into lately Bo Burnham. I love that guy. He is hilarious and awesome. Um, a friend showed him to me. A couple years ago, two years ago, maybe a year ago, and I really liked him. So I listened to him a little bit and stuff, and I was watching his videos and whatever. And then I kind of forgot about him a little bit, and he's kind of coming back up, and like he's making more videos and stuff now. So ugh, I'm like getting back into Bo Burnham, and he is so funny and super awesome. I wish I could go see him in concert because he's playing at the music box in Hollywood. I really, I would go, I would, but it's like really expensive, so I'm probably not going to. But also on Thursday, I'm going to a concert with my buddy Matt and we're gonna go see Fun. I don't know if I've talked about them before, but they're really cool. And then 
on Friday, I'm going to Santa Monica, which is like where Kasim G films California on, kind of. And I'm going to Santa Monica for a Wizard Rock concert, which is bands that play Harry Potter songs. And I'm going to take my friend Regina to that because she's never been to one. So that should be pretty fun. And I can get video from that because that's going to be really small. But I probably can't get video from the fun concert because last time I tried to get video at a fun concert, they told me to stop because you're not allowed to record. But whatever. I think that's all from over here. So I'll see you on Thursday.